Have you ever heard about hyperthyroidism? Do you have questions like, what is this disease? How does it happen? First, let me introduce to you the thyroid gland. It is a small-sized butterfly-shaped gland that lies at the lower front of everybody's neck. Despite its small size, it plays a significant role in maintaining the normal pace of the body by producing thyroxine or T4, which is later converted to T3. T4 and T3 are the two main hormones that control energy production and regulate your metabolism, making all your organs work as they should. As normal as it may be, this tight regulation may go wrong due to any disturbance of thyroid gland function, for instance, secreting too much thyroxine. In this video, let's find out the symptoms and causes of hyperthyroidism. But before that, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and stay healthy with Beyonce. So, have you figured out what is hyperthyroidism? Hyperthyroidism can be caused by a number of conditions including Graves' disease, Plummer's disease, and thyroiditis. Hyper means excessive, and thyroidism means thyroid hormone. It is a condition in which there is too much thyroid hormone in the body, mainly in the bloodstream. In other words, the gland is overactive. The condition is also called thyrotoxicosis, basically the same thing but implies a clinical hypermetabolic syndrome with excess thyroid hormone circulating irrespective of the source. But what really happens? What tips the balance of the gland? Studies show that in more than 70% of cases, hyperthyroidism is mainly due to an autoimmune disorder known as the Graves disease, where the whole gland is excessively synthesizing and releasing thyroid hormone. Furthermore, some people who consume too much iodine, either from foods or supplements, or who take medications containing iodine, may cause the thyroid gland to overproduce thyroid hormones. Graves is a disorder caused by specific antibodies in our blood. Usually, antibodies are our friends. They help us fight many serious infections and microbes. But in Graves, they work against the gland. They stimulate the gland to grow larger and to secrete too much thyroxine. We don't know exactly why these people get Graves, but what we know, it runs in families and it affects young females more often. Other causes of hyperthyroidism include toxic nodular or multinodular goiter, a condition characterized by one or more lumps or tiny nodules, increase in both size and activity, raising the total amount of thyroxine. People may also experience symptoms of hyperthyroidism when they have condition called thyroiditis, which usually follows a viral infection or occurs due to immunological problems. Now you must be wondering, how can you suspect a case of hyperthyroidism? What are the symptoms? Hyperthyroidism symptoms can be pretty confusing. They may have no symptoms at all, or they can mimic other health problems, which makes it difficult to spot diagnose it. However, not everyone with hyperthyroidism will experience all of the following symptoms. These are all possible symptoms, but bear in mind that symptoms vary based on how long your thyroid gland has been producing too much T3 and T4, or how much extra T3 or T4 you have, or your age. These symptoms include unintended weight loss. It's even when appetite or eating remain the same or increase. We have rapid heartbeat or tachycardia, usually more than 100 beats per minute, whereas the normal resting heart rate for adult ranges from 60 to 100 beats per minute. There is a regular heartbeat or arrhythmia. We have heart palpitations or pounding of your heart, nervousness, anxiety, and irritability that can be mistaken with simple nervous due to stress. There's also symptoms like slight tremors in the hands and fingers, sweating, menstrual disturbances, intolerability to hot weather, increased bowel movement, thyroid gland enlargement which appears as a swelling, fatigue, muscle weakness, and insomnia. Older adults are more likely to have either no signs or symptoms such as increased heart rate, heat intolerance, and a tendency to become tired during ordinary activities. Hyperthyroidism is easily treated. With treatment, you can lead a healthy life, but without treatment, hyperthyroidism can lead to serious heart problems, bone problems, and a dangerous condition called thyroid storm. So if you have any of the previously mentioned symptoms, please check with your doctor and stay safe. If you find this video helpful, like, subscribe to our channel, and push the bell so you won't miss any of our future uploads. 
And remember, sharing is just one click away.